Love Yours. that. <laughs> really good though. Well, that's very good. Welcome back to the Mustard Show. We've just been listening to local artist Leon in the Mustard Jukebox. Yes, indeed. And if you enjoyed that, make sure you catch him at the Owl Sanctuary on the 15th of June. Now, Beth, roller derby is probably the fastest growing sport in the UK, says our producer Zoe. Is it? Probably. <laughs> Who plays yeah. roller derby? <laughs> yeah, exactly. A fast paced <laughs> contact sport played on roller skates, and Norfolk is home to not one, not two, but four teams. Yes, Norfolk Roller Derby was formed in 2010 as the Norfolk Broads and have since gone from from strength Broad. to strength. Yeah, did you get that? Yeah. Joining us now, you'll like these as well, are Vicks and Mortar. Oh, Bricks and Mortar. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Gem Warfare. Yeah, yeah. Germ Warfare. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Hallucinations. Oh, Hallucinations. And Short Shorts. Oh. I'm guessing because you wear short shorts. <laughs> Very good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Welcome to the sofa. Thank you so much for coming in. We adore all of your names to start with. It's great fun. Now, we've chatted a bit about Roll Derby yeah. on the sofa before. Very confusing sport with lots of rules and a bit scary, I think. Is it, is it a case of it's a bit of a sport where there are no rules to it? It's, it's very much a contact sport, isn't it? It's a contact sport, but there are lots of and rules. Lots, oh, okay. lots of rules to learn. Um, there's legal areas that you're allowed to hit and legal areas that you're allowed to hit with. It's not just a free-for-all. There's no fisty oh, cups. No fisty cups. Because before we started, you were all kind of showing me certain bruises <laughs> and stuff. Because we've got some good teams. Because we've got four. Mm -hmm. We're so well represented. And you're all, you all seem really, really good. <laughs> for, I mean, because you're, you're competing in, I mean, the British Championships are coming yeah. up, and that's for the Norfolk Broads, that's the A yeah. team. Um, when is that coming up, and, and who are you playing? That's on the uh, 18th of June, um, it's a Sunday up at UEA Sports Park, and we're playing a Rebellion Roller Derby here from Bedfordshire. And they're pretty good. And for the people who don't know, what is roller derby? What, how, how, how does it set up? How does the game work? It's a full contact sport on skates. You have, you field um, 14 people yeah. and you put five on the track at a time. Um, there's four blockers, one jammer. The idea is for the jammer to get past the blockers on the opposite team and then past the hips. So once they've got round the track once, okay. they then pass the hips and they score points each time they pass the hips of the person. So there's not a ball team. involved? Because I think the people seen the film the the Derby, ball. there's a ball you have to try and get into the... <laughs> so, yeah, the so, the, so the, the idea is the blockers are trying to stop the opposing jammer from getting through, but help their jammer to get through. OK. Uh, so it's offence and defence all at the same time. And each match, each game, is an hour long. Correct. What's Ooh, it like as... I, I found out intense, before. I didn't intense, know. that is for an hour. Um, what's it like as a spectator sport? What kind of people show up and watch you guys it's really exciting it's very exciting we have it's a great family event and we have lots of families come along and uh, even if you don't understand all the rules I think it's a great thing to get involved with and you can get some idea of you know what's happening and um, cheer for there's always someone in the stands who'll, yeah. who'll tell you what's going on yeah. and the, the key thing is to watch the girl with a star on her head right, um, okay. in, well, in our game because uh, that's the jammer and she's the one that's scoring points as she goes around and passes the other players okay. and you're looking for some new members although you're well represented yeah. anyway you want some more people to come along. I mean, do people need to be physically strong? Because it, if it's competitive like that, surely or I'm looking skate? at short shorts and thinking, <laughs> you play, you play in the, what you play in the men's I'm game? There must be some big units to play in that. Big men in the men's so you're, you're game. You're yeah. a bit of a whippet, you're in and out, um, you're quick. I don't know if I am, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to get in there and get stuck in with them. And, but it takes a certain amount of skating oh, yeah. ability um, to, to do it, but not necessarily strength. I mean, the, the girls' game is more tactical than the boys' game. Boys can just get a bit smashy, but that doesn't actually get <laughs> you a win. Smashy? Is that a technical term? Yeah, wheelie smash, yeah. I love it. <laughs> but it doesn't make you better if you can smash it. it, it so when people show up for these, what are you calling it, open trials or, or something? We have a, we run um, a course. So we start off, we, we ask people to have a basic level of skating skills. So be able to stand upright on skates and stop, really. Oh, that me out. Is that yeah, that <laughs> me out as well. You get some practice at somewhere like Funky's first and then we run a course and to start with we do the non-contact skills that you need so you don't go straight in and start bashing people up <laughs> so we do a, a non-contact course first and that starts in July um, and people um, will learn the basics so cool. how, how to fall safely yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and then after that if you pass that and we're happy with your level of skating ability then you go on and learn to hit people so <laughs> who's kind of the top of the tree in the UK then in terms of teams on the Norfolk Broads up there with, with the best of them so so the the British Championships is what we're in there are five tiers and we're in tier three okay um, but hoping to be promoted this year to tier two cool. um, 
and uh, but above that there are teams that play internationally so oh. we've got two teams at the moment that are playing internationally which is London Brawling and Rainy City yeah. uh, really yeah, don't, and Glasgow as well so yeah maybe the whole of the yeah UK. So it's a bit really rough in Glasgow it, it's really it, yeah. rough now in now be nice it's but it is it is growing and it is kind of becoming yeah. a massive thing they've made a couple of films about it which I think put it on people's radars and it seems to be a really great form of exercise if nothing else if you're not competitive you're going to be able to really get to know people. Mm. Um, I mean, physically and also as a team, though. You guys <laughs> get to know you, people physically. Like, as in, it's, it's, a, it's a. I think <laughs> I, I, I'm checking out about. their bruises. Now. That's what you want to join. What <laughs> question are you asking? <laughs> but I mean, there's kind of a whole camaraderie to being in the team as well. There is. You, it builds your confidence. It builds. I mean, a lot of us were very individual people before we started this. I never thought I'd play a team sport, and I don't think anybody here did. But the minute you've got a group of people that are on your side whether it's a mixed team or all female you just you you want to go you want to try your best and yeah. do your hardest and we pull together every time we have a game whether it's a public game like the broads are playing or whether it's a closed door bout or a scrim on a Thursday which we've got tonight we try our hardest and pull together and it's incredibly positive mm. great I'm stuff. a huge advocate for team sports yeah you love it, it. a lot yeah you love it, love it. well good luck on the 18th thank and you, so thank if you. people want to watch they can come see that if they want to get involved then you're going to be having tryouts next, next time next time you come in bring in your short shorts I want oh, to see yeah. you in them <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. Now, don't forget, if you do want to watch the Norfolk Broads in action on the 18th, then do head along to the Norfolk Roller Derby website to find out more information.